WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 27, Nasdaq off 45, S&P's off one and a half. Gold, gold down three dollars and fifty cents, trading at fourteen ninety two an ounce. You have silver down two cents at seventeen dollars and eighty five cents an ounce. What you're going to see out here in the gold market, folks, is that we have rejected lower price. You're going to have lighter volume out here. If we go take a look at the GDX afterwards. Same type of setup in the GDX. That is saying that higher prices are coming at us right now. You're at fourteen ninety two inside the gold contract. If we go take a look at the uh, GDX, what you're going to see inside the GDX is that you're going to see that you have rejected lower price, tremendously lighter volume, only 18 million shares. Uh, 18 million is going into uh, 82 million, okay? So this baby is setting up uh, pretty cool for coming into the Fed meeting tomorrow as well as the statement at 2 o'clock and the news conference at 2.30. Uh, notes and bonds, bottom line, the exact same way, meaning the exact same setup. They've rejected lower price out here. Um, they came down hard yesterday. If we go over to, and take a look at the 30-year first, what you're going to see with the 30-year. 30-year right now is up 14 ticks. We uh, got down to a low today of 158.06. You've done 193,000 contracts out here, which is still anemic contract volume. You're coming into September 13th, September 13th out here, which is uh, 460,000. And yesterday we did 238. So it's pretty cool. You can see we even did less than yesterday today. Um, rejected the lower price. I expect what we're going to see is higher prices are going to come at us. Uh, and the real kicker is going to be, okay, what does the Fed have to say? We know the Fed, uh, well, we speculate the Fed's going to go down uh, one quarter point. Is that the end of the deal? Seems like the way the market's setting up, if we go over to the S&P and look at the S&P, this actually is setting up that it does want to pull back. We're at, we're at highs. We're at all-time highs, no doubt about it. But these two little symbols up here, uh, we go back to the last high that was generated out here on the 12th of sub September. You're going to see the same little doji at the top where we get two little ones that are just hanging up here with a gap higher. Now, all that ends up happening, we'll see how this shakes out. You get a little gap lower tomorrow. You get a little island top out there, and that will be saying that we're going to stay in this consolidation that we have been in for approximately uh, almost a year now. Stay right there, folks. Come back next 60 minutes of trading, and then uh, after the close, uh, get a bunch of num numbers coming out. Thank you.